One of the biggest challenges in microphotography is capturing higher resolution images of samples that are thicker than a single focal plane. To solve this problem we use photo stacking technique that involves capturing multiple images of the same sample at different focal planes and then combining them to create a single image that is in focus from front to back. A single stack can consist of hundreds of photos, so the whole process performed manually is very time consuming and can lead to artifacts. Taking advantage of the fact that I have some free time, I decided to finally automate focus stacking for my microscope using an Arduino and some cheap components. My microscope is always close to PC, so I don't plan to add any mechanical controls or displays and instead will set all settings in code. As for motor to control the focus knob on the microscope, I decided on 28 BYJ48 sold with driver board for about $4. It has four phases and requires a sequence of signals to be applied to its coil in order to rotate in small, precise increments. What is most important for me, it can work with 5 volts and it is supported by Stepper H Arduino library out of the box. For sending a signal to camera to make photo, I will desolder chip trigger cable and connect it to Arduino through the relay. This device has a simple mechanical design with no electronic components whatsoever. When the button is pressed on the remote, it completes the circuit. This means we just have to send high signal from Arduino pin to close the circuit and trigger photo. Last but not least, I will use this small RGB LED ring that will let me control light intensity and tint with Adafruit NeoPixel library. Code I wrote is quite simple, as it only runs a loop during which it changes focus knob on the microscope to the new position, triggers photo and waits set time for the exposure. And this is how I plan to wire this system. Everything will be powered from a 5 volt power supply, but I want to keep Arduino connected to PC to tweak capture setting and output progress through status monitor. Now that I have all components ready, let's build this thing. Now all that remains is to attach the motor to the microscope, connect trigger cable to camera, set capture settings in code and test the whole system. As intended, the system makes constant changes to focal plane, is highly configurable and can be left alone for full capture duration. If you have ideas on improving this device or have built something similar, please leave your comments below. Thank you for watching.